sleeping. So, we're gonna, I'm just going to decide to make a video, but, look, 5.36, and it's pouring down rain. Yeah, so I woke up at a 4.50 something, could not fall back asleep for about 30 minutes, so, yeah, it's about 30 minutes, so I started chatting with the phone break, and then I scored, and I'm going to call him real quick. And we're going to uh, we're going to be doing a special. Uh -huh. All the time. Uh, I need your help. With what? You didn't. You clearly have never watched. I'm at soup. You're supposed. You're supposed to say. Um, I'm buying clothes. And then it basically says, What store are you in? I'm at the soup store. Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? And that's the entire joke. Hello to you too, then. Uh, I, I don't understand what's going on right now. I'm not understanding anything you just said. Yeah, it was basically, uh, oh fuck, I'm trying to put it on speaker or find headphones, and I only just found headphones. No, I'm talking about the joke before that. Oh, that was just, I'm at soup. Mm hmm. An hour of rest? You cut out the so I have until 7.30 until my dad wakes up, so... This is an actual human head. It's dead and it's gone through rigor mortis. Hmm. Give me a second. Turn that off, I'm gonna puke. That's an actual human head. Right now, I just love the Bob Ross picture. Uh, we are going to rank, uh, either Friday the 13th weapons or counselors. So, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to be me and Brayden are going to discuss the weapons, and then, uh, the weapons. The weapons. yeah, and then we're going to rank them. By the way, is this yes. list going to include the flare gun or and the shotgun? It's, it's going to be clear Yeah, I I learned that. Okay. Uh, and pocket knives are being included in this. Those aren't really a weapon because you can't attack Jason with it. You can only uh, stuff it. Yeah. All right. 
So, let me pull up something real quick. Alright. Good for you. Even for someone who isn't r that big of a fan of this game. I, I like statistics. Yeah, I, I kind of figured. Alright. So, where are we going to start? I also like bridges. I know you do. I would have made a ranking video on that if I knew a little bit more about bridges. Yeah, like the fucking best bridge in the olden days was the arch bridge. I don't know, I'm just not. In the ye olden days. Alright, so what weapon are we starting out with? Okay, we're gonna be ranking them worst to best. Yes. And the worst weapon is obviously the stick. Alright, so it's this. It's not even that common, and all of the statistics are at a 1 out of 4. What and are you saying? It's not a weapon rather than a damage weapon. Mm, hold on a minute, let me find this. So this. So. Okay, so this so stick. Uh, Alright. Give me a second, I'm, I'm a little exhausted right now. Um, so the stick, it's just a, it's just a weapon you find in, uh, in the woods. Outside. Right? It's yeah. one of the few weapons you can find outside. Yeah, it's and not you can... not in any specific areas. And you're even lucky if you can find it. Yeah, occasionally you can find them in the trash, I've, but that's about it. For me, I've only found them by, uh, the map stand near Shelley's Pass in Higgins Haven. And then I'll... Well, I mean, the only good thing that the stick has is that it has slightly more durability than something like the bat. Yeah. And knowing you, you love your durability. Yes, that's why one of my favorite weapons besides the axe is the pipe. Mm -hmm. Considering how, how it has one of the highest durability. But with the stick, it also has a, lo a level a 3 out of 4 in strength, but it has a uh, pretty weak damage. It has a... it doesn't have a 3 out of 4, it has a 1 out of 4. Uh, the only thing, it has a 1 in stun, 1 in damage, and a 1... Well, now that we've ranked the stick, let's move on to ranking number what? How many of these? Number two out of ten. There, well, remember, we're also cleaning the flare gun and the shotgun, too. Well, then, it'll be thirteen out of ten. The f now, something that is slightly more reliable than the stick, that is going to be the firecrackers. Yes. If you're good at aiming them, you can get a, almost a guaranteed stun, or put them in a place where Jason can't go to. Yes, and for me, I have terrible aim, so I hate the firecrackers. I'm great at the firecrackers, so I can get an almost guaranteed stun. So is this what our next ranking is? Yep. Okay. Two out of thirteen is the firecrackers. Yep. And now the next one is... How about you do one? I ranked mine two, and right. you do too. Alright, so, for me, after the frying, after, oh, wait, what am I saying? After the firecrackers, I'd say it would be the frying pan next. Okay, the next would be the saucepan, of course. Yeah. They, yeah, because I um, think they would be slightly higher just because of how common they are. Yeah, I it I do like, like I the do. Axe is the best weapon statistically, but it's rather rare. Yeah. Something like a pot, you can always find it, and if it breaks, oh well, you can find something else. Yeah, and the thing I just don't like about the frying pan is that it breaks a lot easier. I and, mean, it has the one of the higher durabilities, but hmm. anyway, it's, yeah, uh, it's nothing too extraordinary. Yeah, it it just doesn't stick out to me that much. Um, 
and then after that, I would say. So number four out of thirteen would be the, it's the pod or the pan because the pod and the pan are two different weapons technically. Yeah, and for me after that it would be man I, I just can't think right now. I said it would be the pan. Because as much as it has good durability, its stun and damage are not the greatest. Yeah. I would say that. Yeah. Two by four, this is the fifth spot. Yeah. I. Two by four, it is nothing extraordinary. But it has amazing. It has amazing. Yeah, I like its stun, and its yeah, damage it's, is average, but... Its stun and damage are average, but it does have pretty good durability, though. I'd, uh, pick it up yeah. when I need it, yeah. but I would rather use something like the bat to, uh, get a better stun. Yeah, and not only that, uh, unless you're in, like, a barn or something, you're not gonna be able to find it very well, in my view, in what, in my experience. Terribly common, but uh, they're better than the majority. Uh. <clears throat> I would say the next would be the fire poker. It yeah. has great durability, great damage, but its stun is extremely it, weak. Its stun is bad, which is what really gets you out of the pinch. Yeah. But something good about it is that you're going to be able to find it consistently since it's near every fireplace. Yes, again. and that's and it's always something good to pick up if you don't have a weapon. Always. Yeah. And this this last one was just number six, right? Yes. Okay. So for me, num for me number seven, I'd say. In my opinion, it would be the wrench. Yeah, the wrench. I can see your standing. Yeah. It's uh, pretty good. Because, so it's uh... It's pretty good in durability and stun, but, uh... But if you're trying to deal damage to him, or trying to knock off his mask, it's not the greatest weapon. Okay. It, the one thing good about it is that it, it does... It is common to find. I'm just... Me personally, I'm just not a fan of it because. Yeah, well, I'd much rather pick up something. Like uh, an X5, which is the yeah. shotgun. Yeah. It's a guaranteed stun, it's a hit scan weapon. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's a rarity. Yeah. You can only find like four of these in a match. Yeah. With like something like the pan or the pot, you can find 20. Yeah, and so, then uh, not only that, the shotgun, you can also get it as Tommy Jarvis. Yeah, it's stronger than this Tommy Jarvis. It's a guaranteed stun if you hit it. But you have to make sure you actually hit him. Yes, which uh, most days of the day are uh, tricky bastards. Yeah. But, uh, but besides oh, that, it's pretty easy for me to, uh, to shoot down Jason. Now, next one. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree with there. Yeah. I. Yeah. Which is another good side to it. Yeah, but the thing with the flare gun is that, for me, it's not always been in a guaranteed stun because I have hit him a couple times, and there are times where he just doesn't, uh, move. Yeah. 
Yeah. The 10th spot for me. The 10th spot for me. Uh, I think it's actually the 9th. Yeah, it's the 9th. Yeah, the 9th. Yeah, the 10th. Yeah, the 10th. Alright, hold on. So, so, clarification, it is the 10th spot. And for me, I give it to the pipe. Alright, yeah, scratch if that. You hit him twice, you'll get a stun. Yeah, but, but but you probably only get one stun out of it because of its durability, probably. Yes. So yeah, I change I swap that bat is uh, going to be number ten. Um, and then it a lot in cabins. Uh, yeah, I I like the axe mostly because um, it's a good weapon if you want to beat down on Jason and try to get his mask off for a Jason kill, but yet it also has the chance of stunning him. I don't know, I'm a little mixed on it because um, I like the machete, it's just sometimes you don't want to damage him, you just want to stun him so that way you can make your escape. Yeah, I think stun weapons are a lot more reliable, that's why I like the pipe more, but all this does come down to personal preference. Well, my, like the well, my personal oh. preference is I prefer the machete over the pipe, mostly because... Yeah, that's a part of it, and I also like the damage it has. There's a small chance of its stun, but it also has a really good durability, so it'll stick with you for a while. Although its durability is, say, is the same as what I'd mark as number two, which is the pipe, which has a higher stun chance but a lower damage chance. I would be I would be uh, doing some more Friday the 13th videos, but um. My internet has been pretty crappy with all the rain that's been going on. If you can hear that. Unless that was just a lag spike yesterday, but it didn't just happen on Friday the 13th. It happened when I was trying to play Fortnite, when I was trying to play, uh, when I was trying to play War Thunder. Basically, any online game I was trying to play, uh, it was pretty crappy. Alright, so anyway, thank you all for watching this video, I'll be, I'll be back out with my counselor's video, so see you in the next one, bye!